Japanese companies Subaru and Mitsubishi are participating in the research necessary to create such unmanned fighters. Mitsubishi will be designing an information sharing system between aircraft while Subaru will be developing remote and flight control capabilities. Japan may cooperate with companies from the United Kingdom or the United States as well, Nikkei reported. In addition to drones, Japan aims to develop next-generation manned fighter jets by 2035 while being developed by Mitsubishi. The company, responsible for developing some of the most prolific Japanese defense products historically from zero fighter aircraft of the Second World War to the world's largest warships of that era, has already developed a flyable next-generation technology demonstrator under the Shinshin X-2 program. While Subaru will develop remote and flight control capabilities for the new fighter, Mitsubishi will be designing an information sharing system, although it remains uncertain which parties will be allocated responsibility for other aspects of the program, according MilitaryWatchMagazine.com. It also remains uncertain how much Japan's two next-generation fighters will have in common with one another, with the possibility of shared sensor, radar and engine technologies remaining highly likely. Japan was previously expected to rely heavily on either US or British support for its manned fighter program, but later chose to pursue a more independent course possibly to reduce excessive reliance on foreign actors in its defense sector which inevitably came with significant political constraints. The Japanese Defense Ministry is planning to oversee development of an unmanned fighter in three stages. The first, creating remotely controlled aircraft. Secondly, combining operations where one manned aircraft controls multiple drones, and thirdly, designing fully autonomous squadrons. The deadline for entry into service for both manned and unmanned fighter programs is notably the same year 2035. While many countries have invested in developing fifth or sixth generation fighters, Japan is better placed than most to pursue such a program due to the size of its defense budget and sophistication of its technological base. British and Franco-German sixth generation fighter programs in particular, and the Turkey's TFX fifth generation fighter program, are expected to struggle to compete at the level of more established players such as China, the US and Russia, both in terms of performance and particularly in terms of cost-effectiveness. Japan's fighters will be designed to go head-to-head -head with very high-end challengers, with neighboring Russia's Su-57 next-generation fighter having entered service in December 2020. China too leads the field with its J-20 being the first non-American fifth-generation fighter to enter service worldwide, and multiple further fifth- and sixth-generation designs expected to surface over the coming years. Like Japan, both Russia and China have invested in unmanned next-generation fighters with advanced air-to-air -air capabilities under the Okhotnik and Dark Sword programs.